Hello everyone, welcome to part, I believe, 84 of my Dark Souls 2 Scar of the First Sin playthrough. Today we'll be doing some shit. I don't know how to describe it, but we will be doing some stuff. I apologize for this being super super late. A bunch of shit came up, and by that I mean the entirety of last week, I wasn't really, I didn't really want to play. I wasn't in the mood. And then... Monday I had a dentist appointment, so I was really tired. And then yesterday I really didn't want to play either. I am in the mood today though. So basically we're, we're going to be doing some shit with, the, with some rafters. I think that that's what they are at least. Or It's basically a place with a bunch of wooden boards. Like wooden board platforms, you get what I mean. I don't remember exactly where it is, but I know it's along this path. Oh yeah, it's that it's right in front of us down that staircase. I'm pretty sure this is where we left off last episode. From what I remember. Which is not much, to be completely honest. Wait, what? How the fuck did he hit me? Why the fuck did he turn like that? I shouldn't have gotten hit there in the first place. So we're gonna bait this guy over here. We should be able to backstab one of the others. Get this one. Or not backstab, just L1. Kill this idiot. And then come kill this guy as well. I apologize if the game's being framey. Or, or is a little bit laggier than normal. I don't know what it is, but it's not been cooperated today. I had to reset my computer because it kept fucking freezing. Whenever I was doing my practice run. Now it seems to be at lower frames than normal, although I might be wrong about that. Now this area is not hard. It's pretty small. There's just some items in there. Or in here. Elizabeth Mushrooms. Shortcut. We're good on Estes, though. Although we are right next to a bonfire if you go out there. You're right next to the bonfire we came from this time. So it probably is worth it, I just don't want to respawn the enemies. So I'm lazy. Kill him. There's nothing over there. These idiots. Careful not to get hit by that. It doesn't really matter, but even when you roll, you can, you can still get caught if you don't get behind them quick enough. Kill him. And resistance. And we have to go down the slider because you can drop down over there. It's probably technically better, but you lose some health from the fall unless you want to use your cat ring. Even then, you probably still lose some health. here. Like how they came in the perfect way to make it so I quite, quite easily could kill them without taking hits. Dust curb. I guess there's not really that much down here other than the resistance ring. But, still worth it. And there will be an invader once you go far enough back here. Just be careful, because if you go too far, you'll have one of those icy dudes to deal with. We will use that in a moment. We don't need to use it right now. Castaway Witch Donna. Ooh. 
Oh, fuck. How did that not hit her? Yep, he's trying to beat me towards him. Try to stay, like, closer to the start of the bridge. And it'll basically force her towards you. Out here, we should be able to run towards get to her that before she backs off. I dodged that, but okay. Yep, backstabbed her chest. Okay, makes sense. Don't worry about conserving Estus. We're very close. To the, this area is really short, and we'll be, we'll be teleporting to another bonfire anyways. Because other than this part, we're done with this area. Now, this is where one of the three knights you need to uh, release in order to help you with um, the Ivory King, which is the final the final boss of the DLC. There are three of them that you need. This is one. We'll find the second one today as well. And then the last one we'll find a little bit. Probably next episode, or maybe the episode after that. I mean, you can fight the Ivory King without all three of them, but you'll have a hard time because you'll get ganked hard. Yep, and we're right under where the, the eye was. And rest here. Kill this idiot down here. What a long casting time for such a tiny and weak spell. This is going to be the next area we go to. Or not the next area. This is going to be the rest of the episode. We'll go just behind... We'll go right... We'll go until we open up the shortcut to the... Now here you want to be careful, as the golems, you need to kill them, well you don't need to kill them, but I'm going to, so you have to awake, make sure they're awakened first. Best option, for me at least, is to kill that one, but, okay, maybe that's not the best option, maybe, might as well kill these small guys first. Then you can kill the golem and use that to... Uh, I guess the other small dude... Okay, no, he did get baited over here. Okay, I guess... Let the giant go back to the room. And then you can kill the small guy. So then you can use the giant to awaken the other uh, giant. How did that not hit him? Let's go kill the other mage real quick. How did that not kill? What the fuck? Insanely inconsistent damage. Also be careful because there's a... Actually, we can just kill this guy right over here. Because there's a... The left chest is a mimic. go. And let's kill this man real quick. Jump up the golem. And I'll kill all the... Ooh, I thought I got grabbed. Instead I dodged through it, but then got pushed anyways. And this one is not a mimic. As you can tell by the ice cubes as well. Um... Had we, had we come here before we thought everything, 
Yeah, had we come here before we thawed everything, we would have had just a bunch of frozen shit. Also this. Symbol of Avarice. Headpiece depicting the Avarice creature that mimics treasure chests. Increased soul absorption and item discovery, but steadily drains HP. This is a curious... T there is a curious tale of an incorrupt... incorrigibly covetous ancient deity. Clearly it has... You can see among some miscreants, or this would have never been crafted. Also, f for max item discovery or soul absorption, you do not need this. It's kind of a useless item, unless you just want it, want it for a cosplay. Not really cosplay, just fashion. Also, apparently this does not reveal hidden walls. Which is fucking stupid, but apparently that's the case. Because I just because we're about to come up to an invisible wall, and I remember testing it, and it did absolutely nothing. So, sorry that, I just, it's just what I heard. I assumed it was correct, because that's a really weird, it was on multiple wikis, and it was a weird, really weird thing to just lie about, but I guess not. I guess somehow no one fucking tested it. Space game being out for multiple fucking years. Now, you only need to save one of these guys in order to awaken those giants. Because then the, you can use the giants to feed the souls to the other two. Or just like a chain. Because you, you do need these ones to wake up. There's a few of them because of the chest in the middle. And I'm pretty sure the front right one... You don't actually need to... Is the only one you actually need to wake up. The other two can be skipped. This one right there. Oh, you can damage them ahead of time? Really? That's weird. What the f... I did not know you could do that. Okay, never mind. You don't have to wake up any of them. Because you can just fucking kill them. Apparently. That would have been nice to know. Huh. What was the point of waking them up then? When you can just kill them. Eh, whatever. Curved Nail Greysword. This one's a weird one. A uh, Curved Nail Greysword. A greysword, a great curved sword with an ominous blade, one of the forbidden weapons sealed away by the Ivory King. Formed by Rock Tree and the remnants of a most peculiar soul. It is said that the farther it, its wielder travels, deadlier the blade becomes. Basically what that means is that the more new game plus cycles you've gone through, the stronger the weapon becomes. Which is really cool. It's just really odd. Okay, we don't want to go there first. Okay, now every, you saw the invader earlier. Well, he's hiding from you. And if you don't kill him, he'll backstab and insta kill you. But he is really easy to spot. Yeah, odd for them to have a Holy Knight do that, but whatever. What the fuck, game? How was that a backstab? Yay, guess I get to redo it. It's bullshit. Why the hell would the Holy Knight be the one hiding? Fucking bullshit. Regardless, it's a very unique invasion mechanic. Of course, but of course the DLCs have the fucking annoying invaders. Especially because there's another kind of invader later that's super annoying as well. Or it would have been annoying. Or it's annoying. Okay. It's annoying if you haven't played through this yet. But if you know where he is, then you're fine. I should have baited those out first before killing them, because now we have the giant to deal with. Or whatever. What the fuck is wrong with this AI? Hello, you're right in front of a wall.
Elisu. So apparently you can hit these fuckers even when they're they're inanimate. Yeah. It's fucking weird. What a weird design choice. Especially because then when you kill them, they fucking apparently can move. Doesn't make any sense. Regardless, whatever. It makes them far less annoying. So I guess that's a good thing. I shouldn't have kid hit me. How are you not dead? Fucking... It's so annoying. Consistent fucking damage is not that hard. Beyond stupid. I don't know why they think that's a good idea. And of course, this guy is too brain dead to get around some fucking inanimate objects. Because the AI in this game is fucking pathetically bad. How did that miss? What the fuck is going on? Nothing's cooperating. Shit that should definitely be missing on their side is hitting, and shit that definitely should be hitting is definitely. This game's being real fucking moody right now. By moody, I mean blatantly fucking retarded. What the hell? How's that not hitting the third one? I handle that poorly. Whatever, I'm annoyed. That's why, f that's why I'm not performing pretty well right now. That and some bullshit. Yeah, fuck you. Bunch of talismans. See what a what a shitty thing for this fucker to be guarding. Like, who's gonna use that? Oh, it's like well, not really. Who's gonna use that? But such a shitty thing for such an annoying fucking trap to guard. Especially because he didn't even give me a humanity or a human FG. Like, what the fuck? Stop backing up, dickhead. So really odd that you can kill them. It's so really odd you can kill them when they when they can't even fight back. But whatever. Now there's a hidden wall like right here. So you think? Yeah, apparently not. Apparently you can't reveal them. Yeah, this. Is... I don't know why the fuck the wiki said you could, but I. Rosa Ferris don't work too. Or the Ferris mask, whatever it is, doesn't work either. It's like right here. Right here, I guess. Yeah, like why couldn't I see that? Whatever, pointless mask is pointless. Now we'll be going there next episode. More than likely, because I'm pretty sure we're over time as is. But we're about to end it right on the shortcut and the second night. So. 
It's just that's where we'll be going next episode. Alright, number two. They have really weird helmets. Yep, this is where the Alva fight was. Or, uh, not Alva, Ava fight is. Was, whatever. Wait, does that mean you could... I'm guessing one of the doors were frozen then. In order to prevent you from just completely skipping Ava. And... We're done. For this episode, at least. Let me make sure, just... Yep, we're over time as is. Thank you for watching. I apologize for the delay. I hope you all have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you all have a nice day. Stay safe. Whatever the fuck I normally say, I don't remember.